Science. I'm Professor TJ. And her assistant, Nelly Wedi. And today I'm going to show you how to make a sufuria using a balloon. Wow! It's actually hard. But before we start, maybe I should tell you something about this experiment. It is impossible to boil water in a plastic bag, let alone a balloon. Balloons are rather fragile things. You know that they must be kept away from sharp objects. They also need to be kept away from flames. A fire can weaken the rubber and cause it to burst. However, in this experiment, you will find out how you can hold a balloon directly in a flame without the balloon bursting. This is what you will require. Two balloons, a candle, matches, water, and a funnel. And remember kids, always do this experiment with the supervision of an adult. Safety first! Certainly. Ready to start? Yes. So Nelly, ready? Pick a balloon. And then blow it. Blow the balloon. Trust me. Blow. That's enough. So what I'd like you to do is place the candle, the sorry, the balloon, the balloon over the candle. Or oh, would you like me to do it? Please? Yes, please. No. So watch what happens. <laughs> so the balloon burst. Yeah. Did it scare you? Took my heart away. Yeah, I'm so sorry. So now let's proceed on making our sufuria. Yeah. So pick a balloon. Any balloon. Okay. Fantastic. Then now I'll take some water. Yeah. And I'm going to pour it into the balloon, but I'll use the funnel. So okay. fit it in. And then make sure there's no water around the balloon. Eh? Make sure no water gets to the balloon. Eh? Gets to or gets around. Yes, around the balloon. Is it full of water? Yes. No, it's not yet. Oh no, not yet. Is it not full? Yeah. Okay, that's good enough. Okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. This one. It's full. Did you wipe that on? Blow the balloon. Be careful not to drink the water. Continue to drink the balloon. Blow it. That's good enough. And as I said, the balloon should not have any water around it. So wipe the water. And as you wipe the water, I will light the candle. Again. Right, let's light this. Let's light the candle right And now, no, come closer. Can you see the water? Yeah. Can you see the water? Yes. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. Now, oh, there's still some water around. Make sure that it's dry. Dry. Okay. Then, I will take my balloon. The water in the balloon absorbs the heat given out by the candle, so the material of the balloon itself doesn't burn or burst. But watch out! If you turn the balloon so that the candle flame is not close to the side of the water, the balloon will pop because the water is not conducting the heat away from the surface of the balloon. The suit on the bottom of the balloon is actually carbon. The carbon was deposited on the balloon by the flame, and the balloon itself remains undamaged. 
A real-life example of this experiment can be seen when the oceans regulate climate. Earth is made up of land and oceans. It has more oceans than land. The water in the balloon prevents the balloon from melting. The water takes away heat from the balloon. This is how oceans regulate climate. They take away heat from the land and prevent us from burning and bursting like the first balloon. I hope you at home are able to test out your own souvenir. This is all we have for you today. See you next time on Funky Science. Bye!